take you through probably one of the biggest online marriage agency international dating agencies that there is out there we're gonna actually show you what really happens when we're trans these girls are translating for for the women on the sites how that works who you're actually talking to is who you aren't this is not who you really think that you're talking to so with that I'd like to introduce Natasha Mm -hmm. So, hello, my name is Natasha, and I work in this industry. I was working in this industry nearly for five years. And right now, I'd like to show you how we were yeah. live chats working. Okay, so the front end of this site is much different than, than what the girls who are doing the translation see. There is the, the front end site where you search where you're doing the chat as, as the men on the site and then there's a completely different site for the Ukrainian women here that that see kind of the back end how they're chatting so what most men very 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 few men really know is that these men that are chatting with these women supposedly online are actually speaking with translators right so can you can you talk a little bit about mm -hmm how you got started um, like with this specific company or um, how you how, how the process actually works with, with who you're working with when you're translating for these women uh, so when like there this company doesn't have their own it, like a little base of lady that's why they are looking for the agencies who would like to work with them and after that, the local agencies share their girls with this agency. And uh, after that, we got two opportunities to communicate with men. It's like chat or, or letter writing. And right, like we can see here, <coughs> over here on the left. Yes. This is how, when you're working for this company as a translator, you'll log in and yes, do I'm live chatting yes, here, I'm right? Yes, I'm logging at the girl. And I'm going into live chat. Huh? And after that, I try to get as many clients as I can and start um, talking to them. So everybody that's watching this video here is is dying to know. So they they believe that they are chatting with some beautiful, gorgeous mm -hmm. Ukrainian girl. Is that the truth? Not always. I will explain why. So if the if the webcam is turned off. Uh, it's for sure that you're chatting only with translator. If the webcam is working, there are two variants. Like first one, is it is a real girl, but it's very very rare. Yeah. And the second one, yes, it's a girl, but she's paying by the agency to come and to sit over the webcam. Okay, so we're saying that there's two there's two ways that it works. It's either live chat where there's mm -hmm. no video involved. And yes. so you're almost certainly have no interaction, no chat with, with the girl that you think that you're talking to, no. right? None. Mm -mm. So there's no correspondence with the translator. She's not going to this girl and asking her what the man says, what would you like to say back to him? No, because there is no, it's no use in doing that. You only will lose the time while you will try to reach the girl. Mm -hmm. So it's better to write letters by yourself. 
right? Because Sometimes. basically, there's there, that's costing you money. So right now, you know, what is this that we're seeing pop up on the right hand yes. side of the screen? It's uh, the man who would like to talk to you right now, because right now he's looking over your profile. Mm -hmm. When you say your profile, who who is that? What does that mean? Whose profile? Uh, the girl's profile. Okay. He's looking at the girl's profile. He the girl's like profile that we are currently logged in under. Yes. He is looking at this girl's profile. He wants to chat yes. with you, but you he are not he, yes, this he girl. Yes, going to chat with the girl, but he's going to chat with me. So you would you would go over here and you would just click here and yes. that would open a chat window. Yes. And then you would begin chatting with Rex, who's fifty-six year old man from the USA mm -hmm. and uh, but you're not her you're right 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 so explain a little bit more if mm -hmm. you're not doing the live chatting that's that's obviously not talking to the girl at all so there's there's also video chat that there mm -hmm. that's done a lot so how does that work so you are representing yourself as that girl if you're doing video chat it's a video chat you need to invite the girl to the video chat Mm -hmm. But the same, girls can work as translators in that agency. A girl can be paid for doing that. And it's only a small percent of all girls who are, who are really ready to come after their job and to sit over the camera and to speak with you. Mm -hmm. and the, okay, so what you're saying is almost entirely the girls that are willing to do the video chatting are, are really only the ones that are our agency employees yes. and that are doing this only as a job yes because they really don't care about meeting someone at all they're just an employee of some agency and not even the big agency they're really just an, an employee of a smaller agency that posts their profiles on the big what we would call probably the big three or the big four mm -hmm. companies that, that are in this business yeah, you're yeah. Right. but no they can be interested in meeting that mail because okay. again they will share money with translator Photo selection services, she will get presents, free lunch. <laughs> right. So. Okay, so maybe I didn't speak correctly. She may be interested in meeting this man, but she really has no desire to be with him or move to the Western world to be with, to start a family or, or to get married. Yes, right now you're right. Okay. So, can you show us a little bit, like as far as in the site, can we click through here and kind of see what you would be looking at if you were actually... Yes, yeah, so and, and we are clicking at this chat. Someone has that to speak with us right now. But he disappears. So we're clicking the chat. Yeah, so Rex doesn't want to talk with us anymore. But we could have talked to Rex. So can you also tell us about in this in this business, mm -hmm. as a translator, how are you motivated? Why do you do this, and, and how are you compensated as a translator? Is it uh, can you talk to men, multiple men? Yes, multiple men are always better than one. So sometimes even at the can, same time. Yes, sometimes you can talk like for, you know, for five, six. Five, six. You, you could be talking to five or six men yeah. at the same time. Yes, and sure. it's like only for one profile. You can log in into two or three profiles. Mm -hmm. Some communication there. So something that I thought was very, very interesting that I learned from you is that when you're working as a translator in an agency, you have a certain amount of girls that you're almost assigned to, right? Right. You may have, what, 10 girls that you have to know intimately, mm -hmm. their stories, what that looks like, what their lives are like, how to correspond back and forth with these men, right? Right. We nearly ten girls, but sometimes it depends on translators. So, mm -hmm. if, like she's lazy, she can be only like with two or three girls. Okay. And there is independent how much money you would like to have. Uh huh. Because more girls bring more money to you. Right. So, so again, this system is based on how many men you can chat with. Right? As many as you wish. As many as you wish. Yeah. But how how translators in this business with these these agencies are compensated based on a, vo a system of volume. Uh, yes. Right? How long they can chat with these guys. Yes. It's how the how the many letters how, they mm -hmm. send back and forth. Yes. And like for example, on uh, 
this website to translate to receive money only when the client open letter from the lady. Okay. All in such way. So can you you can also say that these agencies are training their translators specifically on tactics on what they should say that's yes. gonna get them the most yes, the what, highest probability. Yes, what of, photo you should put, mm -hmm. what the subject of the letter should be that the man would have to open it and just spend money on that. Mm -hmm. So yes, because uh, uh, in my work I've met uh, I don't know the one or two ladies who were really who know how to write letters. Mm -hmm. So uh, and majority of girls they they do not write at all. So and mm -hmm. men can send like one thousand words and the lady can respond him with like one or two sentences, and you won't receive money for that. Mm -hmm. So for you it's much better to write letters from yourself. Mm -hmm. it's your salary. So we're seeing all of these guys, like 45 contacts here on the left, right? Yeah, but there are more. They show it on like 45 and uh, each time they change. Uh-huh, they change. So who are these guys? Are these guys that you're supposed to be trying to yes, chatting with? Mm -hmm. So you can so you can get on there, pick, pick this guy, yes. pick Alfonso, and click him and say, hello, how are you doing? Yes. Here we can say Alfonso. Okay. And so you just say hello, and that's like your introduction. So it's like it's a typical way of introduction. Mm -hmm. Because so also the first one is free, does right? Does everyone use it such sentences and not a lot of men will respond because all the same. The same. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so uh, you, the so ones that use something like, very generic, so they know that most men are not going to probably respond. Yeah, to and also like it depends on the photo and on the age of the girl. Mm -hmm. Because if she's if she will be like 20 years old, blonde, blonde hair. Men will invite her to the chat and not she. So and mm -hmm. this lady is older. And I don't know. If she's going to be happy to date to meet someone over the chat. Right. Okay. So, what other? So this is chat. I mean, this isn't necessarily considered letter writing. So this isn't what you're looking at is like the four to to seven dollars per letter. That's that's more of like a an email system, right? So how mm -hmm. how does this work with chatting? How how are the translators paid? How do the men pay for this? Is this like by the minute or hourly or how does that work? He need to buy credits for mm -hmm. that. And after that he can use it, his credits. But they, they all time they change their system. So they can give you like five free minutes to chat with the girl. And after that to take them away. So, so it says that the guy was busy and he's out. Okay. So, do you think that, so do these companies, I mean, they know mm -hmm. that all there's nothing but translators talking to this men, these men, right? Right, but like, they try to hide it. Uh-huh. But of course they understand it. Right, because they know that there's absolutely no possible way that these women are going to, to be able to, to chat with them. Yes. And they also know that, that based on the way that they pay the agencies for the popular girls, for the letter writing, mm -hmm. I mean there are big incentives to have popular girls on there because they know that the that those are going to be the girls that are going to produce the most letter writing. Yes. Right? So right. It's, all, it's all volume based. It's all based on the number of letters that are written back and forth, compensate how many video chats, how, how much how much chatting goes on, right? Yeah, and you got your salary after all of it. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like okay. a sales job in a way. Yeah. You're really so you, I mean, you're paid you, you, based you're on productivity. Like a product, yes. You're selling selling a product. Not really how you would think a matchmaking service should work so or yeah, trying to connect yes. people, but so and yeah. like, so what happens once um, 
you start corresponding with a, a specific guy regularly. If he, mm -hmm. you finally uh, get him on chat, he says hello, he wants to, to chat with you, th then what happens? And you start chatting with him, that is all. Mm -hmm. um, nothing special, it's like daily work, okay, so we have a correspondence, okay, I'm getting money from that, he's in chat, okay, so um, no, not, not personal. Mm -hmm. But um, Just a job. So just like as far as a, a guy though starts chatting with a girl, it seems like he, he's liking this girl, things are going well. Do they continue to chat, or do they start writing letters, or do they keep things mostly on a chat basis, or? Uh, it depends on the on the man. Mm -hmm. It depends on the, what what he prefers. Mm -hmm. To chat or to write letters. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but of course, chat can win more money because the man he simply just can write letters back and never open your own letters. Mm -hmm. So. At that point, so I mean, let's say we have we have all of these translators, which are pretty much doing what ninety nine point nine nine percent of all the communications mm -hmm. with these Western men that have the the idea, or they 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 honestly believe that they're speaking with these women, right? Yes, I well, don't believe in that. So what happens when a guy's been talking to a woman for several months, and then he says, "Well, finally, I'm I'm actually going to take that next step, that big leap of faith, and say that I want to see you." And I want to come to Ukraine. Okay, and right now we're in the point on a girl. If she's ready to meet, the meeting is going to is going to happen. Mm -hmm. And their agency will give lady like um instruction. Mm -hmm. And the agency will tell her about the correspondence, about <clears throat> what kind of person will come, show the photos, because no one will go to look surprised. When she see, when she saw that man, mm -hmm. I said the man saw that they were corresponding or talking mm -hmm. like for I don't know, two or three months, and the girl will see him for the first. So they really want to ensure, and we're talking about the small agency. We're not talking about the big agency um, that, well, that works with her directly. It's similar. Yeah. It's similar. Okay. It's them with a small or, or big agency. But the, I mean, isn't it true that most of the girls on the on the really the really really big like the big three sites mm -hmm. are only cooperating on the small ones that give them their girls that submit the girls to the big the big agencies? Uh, there's like the three biggest websites, websites international dating websites. They do not have their own database of girls. Mm -hmm. That is why they are start working with the agencies that have the database of girls and they share. Mm -hmm. Like this website gave him database of men and the local agency bring them girls. Mm -hmm. So they cooperate in such way. Okay, gotcha. So is it true too, uh, I heard from, from somebody else that has worked directly with probably the biggest company in the agency, they have very, very strict guidelines that, that a woman has to agree to to be on their database. There's, you know, they're not allowed to be on any other dating sites, but the thing is, is that so they also have an agreement that says that if they refuse to meet with a man, mm -hmm. once they've been corresponding with him, which they have never been corresponding with him because it's actually a translator, <coughs> they have to pay a penalty. The agency pays a penalty, is that uh, yes, true? Yes, yes, that's true, but um, it, does, it doesn't work every time because uh, it only will work in that if the client, the man will come to that agency and to the website and says that I want to meet the agency and she didn't come. And in such situations, the agency always try to show other girls just to keep men interested all the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, they know that as a smaller agency, they know that if this guy starts saying that he wants to come, it's it's potentially going to create problems, because it's it's pretty likely that the the real woman is not going to want to meet him anyway. Yes. And yes. then it's also going to cost the agency money because if she refuses, then Anastasia is going to penalize that agency and give them a big penalty for. For, refu for refusing meetings and things like that, right? Yes, but if you will find out really the, some crazy reasons why she wouldn't be able to come to meet you, you can avoid that penalty. Really? Yes, so right. everything just depends on the fantasy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, but, so basically, 
to keep these guys writing letters. It's it's in the translators and the smaller agencies' best interest to make sure that these meetings never happen, because they they create some fantasy, mm -hmm. some some big conflict or argument. Like for small agencies, yes, because they have a very small database of girls, like only one or two translators, so. Or basically, it's like even one translator is the same time as the director and the client. Mm -hmm. Okay, got you. So yeah, so in, in many many cases, and it's it's not even the girls that are creating these conflicts. It's it's the translators. Yes. So translators. they'll they almost sabotage the communication intentionally to keep this guy from from either coming here or having any chance of connecting with this woman, right? Right. And then it all repeats. And repeats oh, wow. over and over and over because m many people and what we've discovered so much of this uh, this business is driven by letter writing because so few men actually ever come to Ukraine to meet somebody and all of the money is made and all of the agencies are are incentivized to to just continue to write letters right right just to bring them really money and. And if like a man can come, he will pay like for introduction only. And if he knows Russian, there is no use translator, and mm -hmm. so on. Right. So it's much and better if he will never come. Yeah, and again, I mean, we've seen like fifty dollar introduction fees, which is a couple letters. I mean, a, a, a man will spend that in a couple mm -hmm. letters anyway. So, plus having to deal with a guy coming here and having so a person come to meet him and introduce him. So again, it doesn't seem like that, in the grand scheme of just purely for them to make money, it's it's not nearly as profitable as it is for just to just to write letters. Yes, writing letters and chats are profitable. Yep. So, moral of the story is, it's not what you think it is. Most likely, if you're writing letters right now, there is a slim to none chance that you're even possibly communicating with who you think you're communicating with. So there is a better way. There are other ways to do this. It is possible. Um, but just want to inform everyone out there about what's really going on with letter writing. So is there any anything else in the site that you'd like to that you'd like to show us or um, ask that's interesting? Sure, yes, in what way the letter writing by itself. It's oh yeah, yeah. Outside working. of the chat, how does yeah. the actual the, la the letters work? You can so probably just just close that. Yeah. <clears throat> so first, need to find a man. So do you think that? Um, do you know what most men are? Are they primarily writing letters? Or are they mostly chatting? Or Not able to say. Yeah. It's different independent person. Someone likes to write more letters, someone likes to check. Mm -hmm. So here you can see in what way you can find them. In. Like each. Okay. It's good, like. So this is on the women's side. So they have search functionality to search mm -hmm. based on finding a man. So this will pull pull up anybody from 45 to 65 years old. And after that, you choose this one. Yeah. Yeah. So this kind of shows <coughs> his his profile, all the details that he has. And yes. so now what you would do as a translator, you and would just go through these guys and... Yes, and after that I can... S I have such a potential like to start chatting, write letter, mm -hmm. or send him a gift. Mm -hmm. Or print his profile. So if I would like to send a letter, I click send letter. Uh, <clears throat> so this is the form. Here you see the name of the girl, mm -hmm. name of the guy, and here we'll put letter. Mm -hmm. So we've also heard that most girls, translators, because again, it's about it's about making money. They have mm -hmm. 
almost like templated introduction letters, templated letters for all of the girls that they represent and they just copy paste over and over and over and send as many letters as they possibly can because the idea is to get as many men to respond because that's when the money starts getting made, right? Right. So. I intended to put here my letter <coughs> and also can send a photo. Mm-hmm. Like here an attachment, right. a photo. Yes, it's the name of the photo and photo by itself. Uh-huh. And sent. Gotcha. Okay. And here, like, it's your mailbox. It's only... It's not very popular. I still got all three letters. Uh huh. And here you also can find the automatical the online translator. Mm -hmm. But it didn't work. I so don't remember when it was working, honestly. Oh, really? Yeah. So it's supposed to have a built-in translation yes. from English to like, Russian. Like, yes, like for girls who doesn't know English. Uh huh. But it never works. Yeah. <laughs> but so that's I mean the majority, or I would say all translators that are working for these agencies <coughs> speak English because they're having to translate all of these letters and write back and forth, yeah, right? Right. So Cedar Rapids, USA. Okay. So anything else you'd like to show us? Um, here, no. Chat letters. Like, if you wish, you can ask something on their website. I can tell you. Uh, there is nothing more interesting. Mm -hmm. So I, yeah, I think that's really it. I think um, in future videos we're going to show you some of the other websites, some of the other really big websites, how they do it. It's it's all going to be fairly similar, but. Um, Yeah, I think that's it. So, Natasha, thank mm -hmm. you very much for your time. And again, can you tell us how long have you actually, I think you already said, but how long have you been in this industry doing this? It's nearly five years. Nearly five mm -hmm. years in the marriage letter writing industry, I guess you could say. Yes. All right. Thank you very much. I wish you all the best in your personal journey to find and marry the most incredible, amazing Ukrainian wife you could possibly imagine.